Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sorry about all that kerfuffle. I should have washed my hair before I did this video, but then I probably wouldn't have got around to doing the video. But I am so excited to open up these two boxes that I have here from my Teresa that I just wanted to open them up as soon as possible. Also because I want to start using one of the items in there. So today, as you will have seen from the title of this video, is a little haul. There are only three items in this video and as always I will have linked them all for you down in the description box below if you wanted to go and check them out or find out more about the designers that I'm talking about or whatever so please don't forget to click that little bit where it says show more in the description box below and you'll have all the links for everything that I'm going to show you down there. So let's open these up. But before I do, if you're not subscribed to this channel and you would like to see more videos from me, please do go down and click that little subscribe button and the little bell icon because apparently that will tell you when I next upload a video. And with that said, let's get started. I just thought if you hear any banging in this video, it is because Hermes is in the room. He's probably going to knock down my backdrop. Or you just see his fluffy tail there. First up is something that I've had my eye on for probably, I would say about two years, and I just hadn't invested in one of these, purely because I have so many items in this category. I'm being beaten up here, I don't know if you can tell. He's right there and he's literally beating up my hand. But I have so many items in this category and, um, it's so disconcerting when he's there. I couldn't justify yet another purchase in this category. You'll see what I mean in a second. But on the other hand, I didn't have anything in this color. And because I am apparently a good customer of my Teresa, I get the odd flash sale. Quite a lot of us do actually, it's nothing that special. But the odd flash sale that lasts 24 hours or 48 hours with a bit of a discount off new season and current season items. So, this was one of those. I don't think you can see the name there, so I will just open it up. Oh, it is so beautiful. Okay, so one of the reasons that I hadn't bought this for the longest time is because I couldn't decide on the... You have to see this. Kitten in a box. Oh no. He has to be into everything that I do. I just love it. He follows me around everywhere. He comes and sleeps next to my pillow in the morning. He lets me sleep all night. Then he comes and sleeps next to my pillow in the morning and literally holds my hand with his two front paws. Please excuse him. If it's really, really, really distracting, I won't let him come in next time I film a video. Anyway, the reason that I hadn't bought this for a long, long time is because I couldn't really decide, do I get the small or do I get the medium? You'll see what I mean in a second. I finally got myself the Chloe Nile bag in the shade is called Biscotti Beige. And I just wanted something that was really nude, but hard wearing. And I've read so many reviews on this. This leather is very, very hard wearing. So even though it's beige, I'm not too worried about it as long as I stay away from biros and things like that. Can you see this little face here? That little face is about to go to sleep and he uses whatever he can as a chin rest. I just want to give him a kiss, he's so cute. He's actually asleep right now because I can see his head is slightly going back a bit. So cute. Anyway, so I couldn't decide between the small and the medium. And I would prefer the small because I'm small, I'm only five foot two, and I just, I do use small bags. I get a lot of use of my small bags. And you'll have seen that on my Instagram and whatever, in my vlogs, you will have seen I always use really small bags, either really small or really big. I have quite a few medium sized bags and I never use them and that's what was putting me off. But then when this came up on a flash sale with 30% off, I looked again at all the reviews and I, 
it was just clear to me I needed to get the medium bag and it's actually not that big I will style this up with what I'm wearing so I'm not going to get changed into something to suit the bag I'm wearing I'm wearing a pretty neutral color so I will style this up and show you how it looks against my size but you will have seen loads and loads of reviews on this so this isn't really a review of the bag I haven't used it obviously so I can't review it for you but it is the medium Chloe Nile bag. It's not heavy. I've heard some reviews that it's heavy. It's not heavy at all. Let's move this now that he's out of the way. The magnetic closure is actually quite a strong magnetic closure. I'm pulling quite hard on it. Did you hear that? So it's, it's quite a strong magnetic closure. And the reason that I got this is because I want to be able to put in here my iPhone 7 Plus. Now I'm just about to upgrade to the iPhone 10, which will be smaller, obviously, but if I can get my iPhone 7 Plus in here, I know I can get everything else in here, and if I just put my iPhone 7 Plus against it, there, you can see that there's still a lot of space for my vlogging camera, my purse, all those kind of things. There's no organisation in here, like in my Louis Vuitton pochette Matisse, there's such great organisation that that is probably one of my all-time favourite bags. No such organisation in here, it's just one compartment. But then again, it's not so big that you can't find anything in there. And there is a pocket on the back, which I know I will probably use for my... <laughs> now he's playing with the paper. I know I'll probably use this pocket for my phone, but I just love this. It's actually living up to all my expectations and all my hopes as well. It's beautiful. Someone also said that this brass hardware is very heavy. It's not heavy at all. I don't understand. There must be some very weak people out there who don't do enough at the gym because that's not heavy at all. And obviously there is a crossbody strap as well, which seems very pliable. Yeah, nice and soft as well. I mean, it's thin, but it's soft. And it's not such a big bag that you could ever really load this up, which means that it's not going to be digging into me. I'll take all this wrapping off and then I'll style it up and show you how it looks against my body, bearing in mind that I am five foot two. Get off, get off. <laughs> so I put this on really quickly with whatever I'm wearing right now, which is this light pink carbon sweater, because it's actually quite cold outside and these burgundy Isabel Marron jeans, which I just love. Look at this star embellishment, absolutely gorgeous. And these are the kind of colors I normally tend to wear in spring and in summer. I mean, you know I wear a lot of pink. So this goes really well, but I think also because it's not a cream, it's actually like a tan color, it will look really good with black as well. And I love this color with gray. So I wear a lot of black and gray in the winter. And it's a really comfortable length that's sitting just on the hip so it's really easy to get in there and get what I want from there I'm not kind of digging down deep you know like sometimes when the straps are so long and you're little and you're you know you're kind of down there but this is really nice and I haven't got it on the shortest strap either I think I can shorten it a little bit so that's how I would wear it across body and I put it with some very neutral kitten heels I would actually wear this with my Chanel slingbacks as well, but they don't really go with my trousers. And you could also obviously wear it as a little handbag just in the hand like that or in the crook of your arm. So I think it's a really versatile bag. I'm going to get a lot, a lot of use out of this. I'm glad I waited because I'd always have wondered, should I have got the small or the medium? I'm glad I waited, did even more research. So I've waited two years to get this and I'm really, really pleased with it. So that is item number one from my haul. I think she's going to be well loved. Now this one is actually from Matches, not from my Teresa. In the second box are a couple of things that I got just getting ready for the summer holidays. And you know that if you don't get your bits and pieces now for the summer holidays, by the time you get to the summer holidays, your favorite things will have sold out or they'll have sold out in your size or, you know. By the way, I should just say, this is not sponsored by my Teresa. They don't even know I'm filming this. I'm just a normal customer. I'm not like working with them or anything like that. 
This little purchase came about because I, once in a while, more often than I should, go into the new in section on the website and I saw this and I thought this was absolutely gorgeous. Now I have no idea how it's going to fit, but I can always return it and this way if it is right for me, then I know I've got something quite special for the summer holidays. I've decided this year, when I'm packing for my summer holidays, to take less and wear the same things more and more often during the holiday. Because normally I try and take, I'm that person that doesn't want to repeat anything on holiday. Which is absolutely ridiculous in terms of packing. My bags are always so heavy. The whole family laughs at my bags when we go on holiday. So this year I'm going to wear the same things on repeat and I don't care if they show up on my Instagram or on my blogs numerous times, that's how it's going to be. So because of that and with that in mind, I decided I would rather have a few really lovely pieces that I can just wear again and again and I can style up in different ways while I'm on holiday. But less of the rambling, let's just open this up. Also, just in case you didn't know and you hadn't bought from Matches before, you can have it come in these beautiful boxes, which I reuse. I mean, I don't just kind of throw these away. I do reuse them. I think they're so gorgeous. They're like works of art. And I've got them from way back when they used to do a bubble print. Uh, it's just beautiful, really lovely. So anyway, this is the Matches one. Like I said, even with matches, they don't know that I'm filming this. I'm just a normal customer. <sighs> so beautiful. You know when you see something online and you think it's going to be gorgeous, but you don't really know because, you know, there's Photoshop and they can change the colors slightly or depending on my screen resolution on my laptop or on my computer or whatever, you're never quite sure until you see it in front of you. This is beautiful. I actually bought the whole outfit as it was shown on the Matches website because I just thought it looked so beautiful. This is from a designer called Amelia Wickstead. I've never bought anything by Amelia Wickstead before, but I've heard great things about the quality of her clothing. And this is a full length, I'm gonna stand up actually. So this is a full length skirt, maxi skirt, all the way down to the ankles in this beautiful snake print. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I'll just come in a little bit closer on this so you can see the print. It is the most beautiful, luxurious feeling cotton. It's quite a heavy cotton. It's not something that is fly away or see through. It's not like a thin kaftan type skirt. And I can really see this being worn out for dinner as well. I could wear this with a lovely little bustier top or something like that or even with a white shirt, just a white, plain white shirt tucked in or tied around the waist, I think it would look really lovely. But also to be worn with the other item that I have bought to go with this, which was how it was featured on the website. So let's open that up. But this is the Emilia Wickstead skirt, which I just, I'm so glad I got this. Oh, I've just noticed as well, it's come with its own Emilia Wickstead suit bag in terms of storing it or even taking it for travel that's going to be really useful just really quickly i was just getting changed back into my clothes and look how gorgeous the skirt looks with this pink carven jumper or any pink top it would look just so gorgeous so i think i'm actually going to get a lot of wear out of this skirt and then the second item <laughs> is that small that it fits into here oh this is the bubble print that I was talking about. So I have quite a few boxes in this bubble print from Matches, but let's open this up. Now, let me preface this. Last year, I was feeling particularly unbody confident. Un -conf body unconfident? Not confident about my body, basically. So last year, I didn't wear any bikinis at all and it gets really, really hot in the summer in Spain, and I hated it, but there was no way I was not wearing a one-piece. So last year, I only wore one-pieces throughout the holiday, and I swore to myself that I'm going to be body-confident enough by the summer holidays this year to wear 
a bikini. So I've invested in a very nice one as motivation and inspiration. Now it's not gonna look like anything much really because bikinis never do until you put them on. So this is a Lisa Marie Fernandez Bando Bandau bikini. But it's basically this bronze metallic bikini with ruching in the front and in the back, which is really, really flattering, I hope. <laughs> and then the top is a twisted bandau bikini like that. It doesn't have any straps on it, which I think I knew, <laughs> but I, I normally like to have straps as well, so that when I'm swimming, I can wear the straps, and then when I'm sunbathing, I take the straps off. But I'm not actually, you know, I'm not gonna try this on, on film, I don't think. Let me just put it on like this, so you can see how it goes. So it goes like that, and it's, I might have to get a bigger size. I don't know, anyway. That's kind of how it's going to look. <laughs> so that is the top, the bikini top like that. I'm definitely not gonna walk around in the full top and bottom bikini on film. But you will get the picture and you can always check it on the website. All the items, well, I say all, all three items that I've shown you will be linked in the description box below, as I mentioned earlier. So if you wanted to check any of them out or pick anything up for yourself, then head down into the description box down below. So that is it actually, it's quite a little haul, one piece from My Teresa and a couple of pieces from Matches. I haven't really shopped at Matches for a very long time, but just now when I went to this wedding in India, one of the themes, Hermes, one of the themes for one of the events for the wedding was a kind of mix of English and Indian, so I was wearing an Indian skirt and I wanted to wear it with a bustier or a corset, so that's when I went shopping across all the different websites and I reignited my love for matches fashion. So that's how I came back to matches, if you're wondering why I hadn't mentioned matches for a long time on this channel and now I'm like all about matches. Anyway, before Hermes literally breaks up my set here, it's a very fancy word for sitting in front of the sofa with the lights on, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Before he messes all of this up, that is my little My Teresa and Matches haul. If you liked any of these items, please do let me know in the comments section below. Let me know what you thought or which was your favourite piece. I would love to know. And if you're going to be picking any of them up, I would also love to know if uh, I've inspired you to make any purchases or just to style up things that you already have in your wardrobe. Because that's the other thing, that it's not always about buying new stuff. It's about seeing what's out there and trying to style up stuff that you have in your wardrobe already to fit the current mood. I'm not even going to say trend, to fit the current mood. I could ramble on for ages now and this video would be way too long. So let's wrap it up there. Thank you so much for watching. As I said before, if you're not subscribed to my channel already, please do hit that subscribe button for more videos from me. If you like this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It just lets me know whether you like this kind of haul or not. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.